Right, welcome back to my channel guys. Uh, this is a slightly different video that I would normally do. A while back, this little compressor up here. Um, it's a lovely little thing. It's got the two outlets for the hoses and it's just, and it's got two dials, pressure dials, it's brilliant. Um, it stopped working and what would happen is the motor would try and engage and then it go and then I'd have to hit the uh, the reset button and it go so um, recently we had someone come an electrician come and have a look at our washing machine uh, and he had a little look at this as well and he says right it's your motor starter capacitor you can um, quite easily buy a new one and install it in that uh, that compressor very easily so that's what I've done well I opened it up first and I looked at the old capacitor and on the capacitor itself you've got a rating so this one was a, uh, a 40 UF um, it was the 450 volt and on there it says 25 70 21 um, so I'll put that into uh, eBay found a replacement it was like a tenner got it sent to me and, and there it is so uh, I'll leave links to, to where I got this from anyway so what we're going to do now is we're going to quickly swap the old one out and put this new one in enjoy remember if you're not confident with electricity or doing things like this although this isn't really that uh, technical it's just unplugging and plugging back in um, get a, a qualified electrician to do it for you anyway right enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end I've taken the screws off the other side just to um, speed things up just a little bit why am I rushing Make sure you're unplugged as well, guys. Make sure you're unplugged. So you're. This is the. This is the problem. Um, this is what we need to replace. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pull these wires off. Now, I, the electrician told me, just cross these over, make sure you're insulated, cross them over, because they do sometimes store a little bit of electric. Uh, by crossing them, it will just discharge. So, what we're gonna do is gonna break those off. There's a little nut behind there. Okie dokie. So there it is. a slight difference in the tops okay so um, although they're joined I don't think it matters I'm also replacing these parts with some of these clips so they can just slot on there nicely okay Was easy enough. Let's get our new capacitor. This is the tricky part getting this 
into that little oh wrong way wrong way you know that? I've got big thick fingers and it's uh, a bit of a pain getting that bolt back in I found if you spin it is that on? no it's not Right, so they're on. They're on nice and tight. Uh, let's put it back together and see what happens, shall we? What I'm going to do before I put it back together is just make a visual inspection, make sure everything's nice and tight. Let's tighten that a little bit more. Okay, sorted. Right, shall we see what happens? <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. I, by the way, I had to leave this off because the new, it's only a plastic, I don't know what it does. It doesn't earth it, it's just plastic. Um, the, the nut that is on the other one was too short to go through there and through the frame to put the nut on, so I've left this off. As far as I can see, it doesn't really um, do anything to be honest right let's have a look should we turn it on <clears throat> right then it's on there you go that was an extremely simple fix Right, there you go. Um, I'm really happy that I've got this compressor working. I don't know why, it's just, I, I just love it. Um, it cost me nothing, actually it cost me a fiver, I think, which is nothing really. Um, and I was gutted when it stopped working. It was really frustrating, keep having to, I was beating it with the rubber mallet and all sorts, trying to get it working. But then uh, found out it was this little sucker. So there's the rating, look, you can see better on this camera. Uh, and it's the same as that one This was a tenner the new one was a tenner which is well worth The money to get that working anyway Thanks for watching and please remember if you're not confident with working with electrics although This isn't quite working with electric. It's just plug-and-play. 
you just got to take a few screws off and plug it in just making sure it's uh, disconnected from the mains as well really important um, but then if you're not confident get a qualified electrician to do it for you you can order this I'll leave the links to uh, these motor starter capacitors in the link in the description in the blah, 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 yeah I'll leave uh, a link to where I bought mine from in the description below and please remember if you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button it don't cost anything and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>